We're going to talk a little bit about like advanced slow motion now. So if we really wanted to play with time on something and really, really kind of change it and mess it up, uh, really slow something down or speed it up, we can do that. So if you look at, you just want to select your layer, one of the layers that you want to play with. And so in this case, I think I'll grab, uh, I'll do this guy. So the guy who's rolling around, I'll try and make him go really slow and then really fast here for a minute. So. As you might recall, one of the ways to change time is to just go to just kind of control click on it. I want to make sure it's unlocked. Control click on it and then go to time and then we can go to time stretch and that'll allow us to like just tell it be 300% or be 25%. If you say 25% it's going to be really fast, right? Um, so but if you go to enable time remapping, this is one that gets sort of complicated and it still makes my head hurt a little bit just to try to think about how it works but what you have to do is you have to click on this time remapping um, button right here and then uh, you know that's one keyframe and then as you go along you can just change it so you're basically rewinding you're saying I want the speed actually to be right I want to be at this spot when we hit here so what will happen now is as we go across it's going to slow it way down, right? It's going to really slow it as we get to that point. And then when you get past it, it's going to go yeah, faster. So if I crank it this way, now it's going to make that little section in there really ridiculously fast. And everybody knows fast forwarding is funny, hopefully, because humor is built on making people run a little faster in the film than they actually uh, actually are. So. So that's one way to time remap. I think it gets really complicated. You can actually click on this little uh, uh, kind of um, this little button here that gives you like a visual graph. And then if you click over here on the graph editor, it'll actually show you what you're doing. So here you can see I'm actually kind of dropping it. Um, you can change that around. You know, and here I'm making it faster. So uh, just sort of you have to figure out kind of the the graphing and the mapping of how this all works, but. It'll, uh, it'll allow you to like speed stuff up and slow it down. and You can actually ramp in and out. If you look down here, there are these little buttons that you can push that are like the ease in. If you click on that one, click on another one, it'll kind of ease those things in so you don't have really hard jumps. It kind of like smooths out the path for you as you go. So this is um, obviously a masterpiece of modern cinema I'm making for you now with all the different elements we have going on, but it's at least giving you the gist of the gist of how to do all of that. So again, that is kind of advanced time management if you want to. Again, the easiest way is just to make the whole clip faster or smaller, but, or faster or slower. But if you want to do time remapping, uh, just kind of prepare yourself to get maybe a little bit confused and use this visual graph editor. That really helps me a lot. If you just turn it off, then you'll see kind of the normal timeline. So. Um, so those are just some, just a few more kind of advanced options that you guys can play with as you go through your project.